Uh, so while we're here in Ascension, we're actually not moored to the island. Uh, we're anchored like right off the island. But they run a launch every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. That'll take us from the ship to the island. And we get a couple hours on the island from like 10 to four or something. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff, not a bunch of stuff to do because the island's really small, but um, there's Green Mountain, which is really cool. And there's a couple towns to check out. So yeah, let's go check out the island. So the clinker will come over to the ship and pick a bunch of us up. After being stuck on this ship pretty much since Portugal, it felt great to finally be getting off. You know, before signing on this ship, I've never even heard of Ascension Island. But from what some of the crew said, Ascension was a wild and unique place. And I was kind of excited to check it out. And after a short ride, we arrived in Georgetown. Named after King George III, Georgetown is the capital of Ascension Island. With a population of roughly four to 500, pretty much half of the entire island live here. On our first day here, we weren't really sure what to do. And after walking around the town for a little bit, we decided to walk down the coast over to Comfortless Cove. There were seriously hundreds of sea turtle nests on the beach. Ascension Island has some pretty crazy terrain and rightfully so. I think in the grand scheme of things, it's only about a, a million years old. Even though we didn't find Comfortless Cove, it was still fun exploring the volcanic coast. <laughs> there is no hiding how barren and desolate some parts of the island are. And in 1836, when Charles Darwin visited the island, he said that exact thing. But a few years after that, a British plant collector goes by the name of Joseph Hooker, visited the island, and he had an idea. He saw the constant cloud cover over the island and wanted to bring plants in, plant them on top of the mountain to try and capture and keep the moisture on the island and hopefully change the ecosystem. And that's how we got Green Mountain. With all the plants and vegetation, it's seriously a whole other world up here. So while we walk up the mountain, let me tell you one of my favorite Ascension Island stories of how much humans impact this planet. Ascension Island 
used to be a safe haven for hundreds of thousands of seabirds. But it's thought that when HMS Roebuck sank in 1701, it introduced rats to the island. And the rats completely devastated the seabird population. So someone thought it was a good idea to bring cats over to the island to handle the rat problem. But after the cats handled the rat problem, it made the seabird problem even worse. Needless to say, the seabird population was strongly affected by the sinking of one ship. But now that all the rats and cats are finally gone, the seabirds are slowly coming back. And of course, on top of the mountain, 2,800 feet up, to catch all that water, is the Dew Pond. So some other fun Ascension Island facts. So in 1965, NASA built a station here and actually tracked the Apollo missions from the island. The Royal Air Force and Space Force actually have a base here. And the runway is the second largest runway in the world. And no Ascension Island video would be complete without mentioning the Saints Club. The Saints Club is Georgetown's local watering hole. Nice little place to grab a drink, throw your feet up, and just take it easy. And of course, big shout out to Mama Sue, who runs the Saints Club, and is pretty much in my opinion, the heart of the island. Thank you for all the hospitality and always making everyone feel welcomed. Hope you're doing good. And before 1600, everyone makes their way over to the dock to catch the launch back to the boat. Oh, oh. <laughs> Good thing you have extra work boots. Yep. And probably one of the best days spent down here in Ascension was on Easter Sunday. A bunch of people from the ship and from the company thought it'd be a really nice idea to paint the church over in Georgetown. Couldn't imagine a better way to spend Easter. We're off to paint the church. Good morning, good morning, good morning. It felt great to get together with everyone and do something to help the community that we've been spending so much time in. Thank you.
Didn't even feel like we were working. Just laughs, smiles, really, really good energy. And of course, a barbecue with some music to wrap up the day. You know this place is filled with so much natural beauty and all the marine life around the island, not to mention all the history that's happened here. This place is so unique and special and I feel honored to be one of the few that have actually stepped foot on the island. You know, there are still so many crazy, unique, hidden places out there. The world can still surprise you if you let it. If you enjoyed the video and you'd like to support the channel, please consider liking, subscribing, or sharing the video. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.